Hello, everybody. Welcome back to part two of solving one step inequalities. All right, let's look at this example. It says 4x is greater than or equal to 24. Now, in problems like this, you notice that the 4 is multiplied to x. So, to get x by itself, I'm going to have to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So, I will divide both sides by whatever number is in front of the variable, which is a 4, and bring down my x, and my greater than or equal to sign, 24 divided by 4 equals 6. So, on my number line, I'm going to go to the number 6 and draw a closed circle, and it says x is greater than or equal to 6. So all the numbers that are bigger than 6 are on the right side of the number line. So I will shade the right side. All right, let's look at another example. This one says x divided by negative 3 is greater than 1. So in this case, since it's originally being divided by negative 3, I'm going to do the inverse operation of division, which is, you got it, multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by whatever number is in the denominator, which is a negative 3. And so when I multiply this side over here by negative 3, it's going to cancel out the number of the denominator. You bring down your x. And over here on the right side, 1 times negative 3 equals negative 3. And again, don't forget the cheer we, taught, we learned in class. When do you flip the inequality sign? When you multiply or divide by a negative. So since I multiply by a negative number, I'm going to flip my inequality sign from greater than to less than. Now, to graph the solution on the number line, I'm going to go to the number negative 3 draw my open circle, and the expression says x is less than negative 3. The numbers smaller than negative 3 are all the numbers to the left side. So I will shade to the left. And that's it! 